A large water basin is in the shape of a right cylinder. The inside of the basin has a diameter of eight and a quarter feet and a height of three feet. Determine and state to the nearest cubic foot the number of cubic feet of water that it will take to fill the basin to a level of half foot from the top. Okay, so the cylinder looks like this. And the diameter is eight and a quarter feet. So eight and a quarter feet. The height is three, so it's drawn really off scale. Uh, and the amount of water that's in the basin right now, that's right there, which I'm going to shade in with this. So the water that's in the basin is half a foot away from the top. So what is that dimension then? Well, if that's the case, then that means the water here is going to be two and a half feet. So we need to find the volume of the water that's in the tank. And to find the volume of any kind of prism, which a cylinder is a prism, the volume is always going to be the area of the base times the lateral height. So the area, in this case, is the circle, and that's going to be pi times the radius squared, right? So the radius, the diameter here is eight and a quarter, so therefore the radius is going to be four, or actually uh, eight and a quarter, is the same thing as 33 fourths. So the radius is therefore going to be 33 eighths, right? Or you can just enter this in a calculator. It's all the same. But, you know, I always encourage students to get comfortable using fractions. So the radius is 33 eighths squared. And then the height is going to be uh, two and a half. So that is five halves and we're going to uh, punch this into the calculator because the final answer here is supposed to be to the nearest cubic feet so to the nearest whole number then so pi times 33 eighths whoops pi times 33 eighths squared times uh, 5 divided by 2, right, or 2.5. And that's 133.6, so to the nearest cubic feet, that would be 134. So this is going to be roughly, oops, it's going to be roughly 134 cubic feet.